Hey there, everybody! Welcome back to Paper Mario Color Splash. This is Spiraling Helix. Last time, we finally made our way through the Crimson Tower where we saved the Big Red Paint Star and saw a little bit about what happened before we turned up. This time, though, if you could please stop talking. Oh, I don't want to see your memories. We are going to explore some of the optional things you can do in the island of Prisma. Starting off heading over this way, we're going to continue something that we've already seen the start of. This little hideout up on the house up here. If I can just avoid these goobers. Mm, nice. And see what is going on. Yo, big perp. Been a minute. Red, long time no see. I was so pale, I was thinking about changing my name to White. But thanks to Mario, I'm good as Red. So I heard you got a letter from Piper? Something about how if flowers bloom here, we could all meet again? Yeah, yeah, I planted the seed he sent too. And lo and behold, we got a couple of sprouters. I can't wait until we get some flowers blooming in this pot. You know, hearing from Piper really takes me back to the old days. It's funny, I remember one time, way back before I knew Piper all that well. Field day was coming up, and I was trying to get in shape, so I was working out, and I ran into Piper. He did his little foo 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 laugh, and I figured he was making fun of me, which made me train even harder. I trained like crazy! And then the field day race comes, and it turns out that my training was all for nothing. I'm running in last place the whole time. But when we get close to the finish line, Piper is in the lead, and he just falls down all of a sudden, tripping everyone but me. It seemed kind of fishy, so after I won, I asked Piper if he fell on purpose to let me win. But Piper just got his look on his face like, nah man, and started laughing. That was really how our friendship started. I still think he fell down and tripped everyone else so I could win. And with that, we hear a little bit more about this Piper fellow. And we will uncover more about this story as the game goes on. Red was saved in Ruddy Road after we scaled the steps of the Purple Rescue Squad, who will remain there for all eternity. But next in our list of objectives, we have a certain cafe owner who's a little bit down in the dump. So how about we head to Ruddy Road and see if that cafe owner wants a bit of a switch in life. Here we are, we've made it to this not Sky High cafe, but a kind of ruined one at that. A customer, yeah! Haven't had a customer in ages. Oh. Never mind, it's just you, Mario. Welp, that settles it. Time to close up shop and give up on my dream. Yeah, I guess we did squash all of your clientele. But come to think of it, there was someone looking for a cafe like this. Oh, and isn't that convenient? He is right here. It's the barista from Prisma Cafe. Oh, this place is perfect. No people around it. Oh, this is a real sad mess of a cafe. Hey, would you be interested in switching cafes with me? You could take my cafe in Port Prisma. It's always been my dream to be a suffering cafe owner, just barely scraping by. Oh, uh, what? But the Prisma Cafe is what famous? We've got, you've got customers out there, yes. I mean, if you really want this place, then yeah, I'll trade with you. Beautiful, thanks for telling me about this cafe, Mario. This should cover your finder's fee. Awesome! Starting today, I'm the proprietor of the Prisma Cafe. I'm gonna work my stem off. The sign being upside down really adds to the dumpy aesthetic. It's perfect. And do you have anything that we can have? Yes, that's right. You can actually buy some juice or some coffees. The hearty latte heals you completely. And the Prisma juice will heal you and fill up your paint in that top left. But now it's time for the main attraction. 
something that has been dormant on our map for a very, very long time. Right after I checked my post, because I didn't realise I have post. Okay, what post do you have for me this time? We have the legendary King of Rochambeau has appeared to defend his throne. Defeat him to claim a special card. He awaits you at Rochambeau Temple number one. Remember, you can always reread old. Yes, yes, we know. Yes, that is the main attraction for us today. I believe you do have to receive that letter for that special card and this ultimate champion to appear. Now, you know what? Before I actually leave Port Prisma to head to the Rochambeau Temple, while we're here, I think I'm going to use this Cato Luck thing, as I'm never gonna end up picking it up again. But let's give it a test, because my goodness, this is the best thing to use in a battle. I hope you guys are ready for this. That thing is just absurdly stunning to look at. But now, on to the Rochambeau Temple. If I'm right, it takes me to the top left? No? I don't know. It's already here, never mind. This bubbly question mark, I highly recommend you do not go to the Rochambeau Temples until one of these appears. Otherwise, you're doing it for basically no reason. Welcome to the Rochambeau Temple. This is where legends are made. Here we are. And if you couldn't quite guess, maybe this sign will help. No, that just gives us the prizes. But looking at these three symbols up here, Rochambeau is another name for what I've known as my whole life. Rock, paper, scissors. We have a cafe toad over here that is just like the cafe toad we saw elsewhere. However, Rochambeau, before I head in, will consist of three rounds. The first two rounds will usually have a hint from these two toads. The first round opponent only ever uses the card that most resembles him. He's well rounded. Well, based on that, I'd say he uses rock every time. And the second round opponent either punches or does an open handed slap during fights. So he will never. Use scissors. Using these tips, we should be able to make our way through the temple tournament. So let's head on in. The Rock Paper Wizard is in the building. Want to enter the tournament? Yes, I do. And it's free. But more on that in a moment. I hope you're ready. This is just an awesome thing. Although it sucks by yourself, just say these lines out loud. Since the dawn of time, warriors have gathered here to do battle, journeying from distant lands for a shot at eternal glory. One must make their own luck to overcome the odds. This is the art of Rochambeau. And with that, the competitors will take the stage. In this corner, the rookie hailing from the Mushroom Kingdom, Mr. Mamma Mia himself, Mario! And in this corner, Bowser's timeless small fry, the spectacular speed bump, the sentient shiitake, go 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 Goomba! 
Round one, Mario vs. Goomba. Challengers, draw your cards. Here we go. And on my screen, if I chuck a quick screenshot up for you guys, it's a simple choice. Rock, paper, or scissors. Now we know this first opponent will always use rock. He's real rounded. So let's use my personal favorite. Roll, bam, bow! Mario! Here's your prize for making it through the first round. Neat little change. This pain train has no brakes. Let's bring on your round two opponent. He won't show his face in public for fear of judgment. The indelicate introvert, the bashful basher, shy guy. Round two, Mario vs. Shy Guy. Challengers, draw your cards. Here we go. He will never use scissors. So if we use paper, we will never lose. Although it's a 50-50 shot of a tie, we will never fail. Here we go. Bow. Jam. Bow. Mario. Another victory, yes. Here's your prize for making it through the second round. A bit more jump change, but again, come on, give me that card. Dim the lights, he approaches. Ladies and gentlemen, the man you've all been waiting for. Rock, paper, wizard! Round three, Mario versus rock, paper, wizard. Challengers, set your cards. Here we go, the big finale, and as a normal game of rock, paper, scissors, it's a one in three chance, so I will choose this card because it's the first one that my cursor lays on. Oh, it's a tie. Ooh, Ooh a tie. Challengers, back to your marks. Round two, challengers, draw your cards. Okay. Here's the worst part of Rochambeau. It's a one in three chance I win or lose. So a two in three chance that I don't lose. Bro, damn, bro, yes! Woo. Mario, you can spend hours doing that. I can't believe it. Mario has defeated the rock paper wizard. Victory! You are our tournament champion! You'll be going home with a fat bag of coins and a brand new card! You got Morton! And a whole lot of money. That's a wrap folks! You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. Congratulations! Wow, you beat the Rock Paper Wizard! We've witnessed the birth of a new champion. And with that, we are not quite done here. I'm sure you must be wondering what is our third round opponent? Should we lose to the... Or should we come here when the Rock Paper Wizard is not in the house? Well... I've got to go back in to find out. But, as you saw, the winning card we got Morton, this is the only place you can get the Koopaling enemy cards, which only becomes available after you defeat said Koopaling. So that is why these temples are so important. 
Sorry, we're not accepting entrance. But go find another paint star, and then we'll talk. And just between you and me, you can even go re-find one you've already found. Wink, wink. Huh. Well, he, he he's not letting us in. Actually, I do want to speak to this toad. Yes, that is right. After you win a tournament completely, it's a one in three shot for every single f opponent. The first two are now a random chance. Not only that, if you lose once, you can come over here and instead of claiming another paint star, because that's slow, look, I can sneak you into the tournament, but it'll cost you 100 coins. Yes, you can come over here and pay a small fee to sneak your way into the tournament, allowing you to have another shot at the title. Thankfully, you can also skip the unnecessary introductions. Now, the first time you pay coins, usually the same rules apply for the first two opponents as they would normally. The Goomba would still only ever use rock. However, if you fail once after sneaking your way into the tournament, I don't want to lose. If you fail once after you've snuck into the tournament, it will always be a one in three shot every time. So I'm gonna spend hours trying to even see the third opponent and I'll see you there. Here we go, round two is done. But who is our third round opponent when the rock paper wizard isn't in the house? The final round is upon us. Let's meet your final opponent. He's the green shelled shocker, the friendly fire foot soldier. Don't you dare call him a turtle. Ka ka ka. Koopa Troopa! This is it, round three. And I sat through 10 minutes just to show you who this opponent is. But let's see if I can't show you what reward we get anyway. This third round opponent is always a one in three shot of winning, by the way. And I... Yeah. Mario, I get to show off the prize. Now, typically when you complete a Rochambeau temple, you will only ever get the Koopaling cards if you don't have one in stock. And of course, you've defeated them. Otherwise, you will get a replica card. Which really isn't the best way to get them, might I add. But for that reason, I recommend... Or for one reason, I recommend you wait before doing these temples until the Rock Paper Wizard has appeared. The other reason be is because in Port Prisma, one of the banners is defeat the Rock Paper Wizard eight times, or should I say defeat eight rock paper wizards it's one of the two and it's always a bit hazy but with that guys i think we are now ready to move on to the next level sadly you have to actually walk to the exit because we never pick up a mini paint star we can't just quit the the little hands disappear from the world map too and they reappear once we can access the temple once more but with that guys next time i will meet you in sun glow ridge now that the crimson gate has been painted in so this has been spiraling helix i'm gonna go drop my card new cards off at the museum and i'll see you guys next time everybody Bye bye